a deep thunder. Well, it's a catchy name for a new forecast system designed to get you out of harm's way sooner and save taxpayer money. Meteorologist Tara Hastings shows you how it works and helps. IBM has developed a supercomputer designed to look at a more specific area and come up with a better forecast. The computer technology is based on a supercomputer, which was on a popular game show that proved to us all it's all elementary, my dear. Watson, what is Sauron? Sauron is right. He marveled us with his quick and correct responses on Jeopardy. And now Watson's technology is helping forecast the weather. IBM, who provided two news with an interview and video, has developed and is implementing a weather forecast system called Deep Thunder. The computer model seen here produces a high-resolution forecast for a small region. Instead of looking at this, you know, huge radius and distance, which which is what the National Weather Forecast does, you can look at a mile perimeter and be able to actually model the weather conditions in that very small area, which might be very pertinent to making really quick decisions that could save lives. With specific details about changing weather conditions, extra time can be used to dispatch snow removal crews or aid firefighters out in the elements. What's the impact to our crew if we were to send them uh, over there with the winds at, at, at a certain speed. So this is the kind of modeling activities that Deep Thunder could perform. The data used to produce a specific forecast comes from the National Weather Service satellites and sensors. Currently, Deep Thunder is being used by businesses in multiple U.S. cities and Rio de Janeiro for the upcoming Olympics. The supercomputer technology has already produced a game show winner. Maybe it can help everyone get a head start on the weather. And that puts you into a tie for the lead. The supercomputer has been around for about a decade, but is now being implemented. There's no word yet on an exact price tag. I'm meteorologist Tara Hastings, 2 News on your side.